After one year, it's finally time to say goodbye to the Republic of Georgia. We are leaving our Airbnb here in Batumi to cross the border from Georgia into Turkey. Let's go. I finally got a new suitcase here in Batumi. That was a long time coming because this one was just completely torn apart. Nikki even sewed it here, tried to save it, but I think it was time for a new one. Total life upgrade. Welcome back to the Gringo Nation. If this is your first time here, I want to help all you expats and digital nomads through your own travel adventures. So today, yes, we are going to finally leave the country of Georgia. It's too bad. We love this country so much, but all our bags are packed. Our whole lives are in these bags right now. We have written our goodbye to Georgia and hello Turkey. We thought it would be interesting to show you what a border crossing is like in March of 2021. So we're now going to catch a boat to the border of Georgia and Turkey. Let's see what happens. Fingers crossed. Okay, we have made it here to the border crossing, Sanfi, Hopa, Georgia to Turkey. Obviously, it's not the best day for a border crossing, but maybe that means that'll just be kind of empty here. Uh, so we're hoping everything goes well. We have our PCR test, we have our passport. So we're just gonna get in line and cross over. Let's see what happens. So we are finally in Turkey. We finally made it. It was like a very taxing situation. We like entered and everything was really chaotic. Like there weren't that many people, but they kind of were very disorganized. Like they would take us and be like, oh, you wait here. Those people wait there. And they had people like kind of waiting all around the room. They said that I was okay. Like, the police officer was like, oh, okay, you're okay. You're American. But we got held up for like over 30 minutes because they weren't sure if Brazilians needed a visa to enter, even though we know already that they don't. So he had to take a picture of Art's past and then disappear somewhere and then came back 35 minutes later and finally we went through. One funny thing is that the escalators are all broken. Not the best, very weird, but anyways, we are here now. We haven't left the building yet, but you can see the Turkish flag over there and we're in Turkey. We have made it on the bus. The border crossing is just right behind us. We were able to get some snacks. Nikki has used the bathroom. It should be about three hours to trap zone and then we're gonna to try to find our Airbnb. We also need to get a SIM card, but things are going pretty well so far. It was definitely not the ideal border crossing day weather-wise. It was actually hailing a little earlier, but everything else is going okay. So we've been on the bus for about an hour and a half and the bus driver just came to collect the money and it was 140 Turkish Lira for the two of us. So 70 each going from the border to Trub Zone. Yesterday in Batumi, we did exchange some money. So it's really good to have at least some money, cash money, Lira, when you cross the border um, so you can pay the bus right away. Finally reaching Trabzon, only about 10k to go. And then we need to find a SIM card and see if we can locate this Airbnb tire. Well, seems like our Airbnb guy is coming to pick us up. We don't even have a SIM card yet. We're just like borrowing Wi-Fi from this tea stand. We were about to get in the taxi and then I received a message from the guy saying he'll come and pick us up. Now we're just gonna wait for him, get to the Airbnb, hopefully pick up a SIM card after that, and then we can be completely independent. <laughs> Thank you. 
We have finally arrived here at our Airbnb in Trabzon, Turkey. Our host actually picked us up at the bus terminal and brought us here to this upgraded Airbnb. We were gonna stay at another one, but he said we can stay at this one because the other one was not ready. So we got a pretty good upgrade. We're happy about that. And now we're gonna go into town to try to find a SIM card and some food. Listen, the border crossing went well today, but I have had a pretty bad border crossing experience once in the Philippines. If you wanna watch that video just click on the link that is on your screen now and i'll walk you through everything that happened there and i'll see you over there in three two one Psh.